Lurking in a freezer in a home on the northern edge of our city, there is a large lump of pig. It's a shoulder of pork, actually. We call it shoulder of pork so that any small children in the house don't realise there's a fair chunk of pepper pig frozen solid in the kitchen. It was bought a couple of weeks ago in anticipation of some kind of relaxing of the current restrictions on movement and mixing. And the first Sunday lunch after any announcement of limited freedoms is to be a gala affair, with other members of the family joining in a feast of roasted pork, crackling, stuffing, seasonal vegetables and roast potatoes, both sweet and normal, whatever the new normal will be, all washed down with some kind of fizzy beverage, several bottles of which have sadly not survived the lockdown so far. It's something to which we can look forward, along with so many other things we're currently having to do without. Visits to coffee shops and pubs, Premier League football, trips to the Peak District, haircuts, putting tissues in the blue bin again and seeing distant relatives, or some of them anyway, all that kind of thing. That joint of meat has become a symbol of anticipation and expectation. And to mark that... It has taped to it a handwritten note that says simply, The Pork of Hope. From time to time, the drawer of the freezer is opened and the assembled household gaze on it with fond dreams of what yet is to come. And this is where there are parallels with our faith as followers of Jesus, though, of course, we must not press biblical metaphors too far, as you will no doubt realise. God has given us all the opportunity to have real hope for the future, not just for the next few weeks and months, but the eternal future. Because of the presence of evil in our world, we're all struggling with the limitations that that puts on our lives. We find ourselves doing and saying things that are never helpful and often downright harmful, certainly harmful to our relationship with God and our prospects for eternity once this life has come to an end. Wanting to give us the opportunity to escape that situation, God sent his son, Jesus, into our world. And through his life, death and resurrection, Jesus, the Lamb of God, has offered us hope. We have great things to look forward to, not least the promise of eternity spent in God's kingdom, enjoying the relationship with him that he originally intended us to have. And it's responding to that which can give us a hope for the long term that we can actually start enjoying now. I'm sure that the pork of hope will soon come into its own and fulfil its purpose for the ones chosen to share it. But I'm even surer that one day I'll be able to enjoy the future that is promised us by the Lamb of God. It's a faith in Jesus more than anything else that really gives me hope in the current situation and will continue to give me hope once this whole virus situation has passed. I pray that you'll find hope in Jesus too. Keep safe, keep smiling and keep hoping.